Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. What else? I think I should rename this channel like Jessie's Unboxing or Gorgeous Unboxing or Gore Unbox Jess something. This is, it's just getting to be a lot, but I love unboxing and I hope you do too. Also, I will be having a haul soon, so if you don't like unboxings and you enjoy hauls more, please stick around. So today's unboxing is a Goodwill blue box. This is their 10 for 10, so I should have 10 items, and usually they stick an extra one in there, so that's pretty cool. And so I paid $10, $5 shipping, so the total comes to like $15. And the most exciting part about doing unboxings is I'm doing this one with my friend Alicia from Married Life. If you guys don't know her already, she is an amazing reseller. She does a lot of content creating. She's on TikTok. She's on YouTube, obviously. And she's on Instagram. So if you want to go follow her and you aren't already, which... I would be surprised if you weren't. I'll stick her information up above and I will stick it down below. So please, please go follow her and then go check out her unboxings after you watch mine. Ow. All right, so I just punched myself in the lip. So, yep, <laughs> I'm definitely bleeding. So <laughs> if throughout this video I <laughs> get a bigger lip, um, you will know why. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe I punched myself. I can't believe I punched myself. It occurred to me while I was opening this box that I probably should tell you that Goodwill Blue Boxes drop every Friday at 5 p.m. Central Time and you have to be quick. So you're on the website, you should already be logged in, already have your credit card information in, and that way as soon as the boxes appear you can just put it in your cart and check out immediately. Otherwise if you have to put in all your information they're probably going to be sold out. All right, let's get this 10 for 10 started and not looking too good um, just from first glance, but maybe that that doesn't mean anything because I think it doesn't look good. <laughs> and this has like, um, hey, <laughs> it was just Halloween. So, okay, um, I might, yes, I have this shirt. I own this shirt or did own this shirt at one time. It's Juicy Couture. This is the their Kohl's line. Um, so yeah, it's lips. I don't know. Um, I actually still have some listed that have been listed probably since 2017. So, so I don't know that that's going to sell well and mine are brand new with tags. So if you're interested in any Juicy Couture new with tags, uh, let me know. Next is a black piece and I do not like photographing black pieces because they are very difficult. This is Loon Gray by Loft. It's a sleeveless dress. It does come, it does come with the belt, which is very, very rare uh, when getting anything from Goodwill, whether you shop there or not. <laughs> I've never actually seen a tag that said for Loft, so that's interesting. I did do a video and I said Lou and Gray was from Loft and that was my first time figuring that out. This is a size medium and I may list this for around 10, 15 again. Okay, next up is a, oh, okay, I see this a lot in the thrift store, Teso, Teso and Elba. It's a cute sweater, like I like the color. It's just polyester and rayon, um, but yeah, just a plain sweater. I'm not sure that this one will be listed. Right, next piece is a, oh, okay, it's a Ralph Lauren piece. Um, it's just a zip up hoodie. It is in tasted some blood it is <laughs> it is an extra small so that's not the best size uh to sell or not the most sought after size it does have the polo uh little symbol but i do have a lot of ralph lauren that is just sitting so maybe another 10 right next up are some adidas shorts not really short season right now since we are coming up on a christmas time it is a size large, whether this is men's or women's, I don't know. It is very, very sheer in the back. So I, <laughs> I'd hope you'd wear something under this um, besides underwear. I don't know, maybe you could and make it more of a lingerie type item. <laughs> so who knows? All right, so we have an Old Navy. Oh, this is a dress. Okay, so yeah, I will probably list this. I, again, I... I've said it before, I don't have anything against Old Navy. I 
don't pick it up in the thrift stores, but I will list it if I get it in a blue box. And it seems like anything Old Navy usually sold super fast that was in my Goodwill blue boxes. So, I mean, why not? Hello, chunky sweater. Okay, it is a big sweater. It's by Morona. It does look well worn. So I just, I don't know that anybody's really gonna be looking for this. I may check the pockets just in case <laughs> I might find something gross because that's typically what I find. Nope, nothing in the pockets. Um, this is another extra small. So maybe I could just start lotting up all the extra small stuff and just put it in a box and sell it on Poshmark for like 10, $15. And uh, I don't know about that one. It's, it's still just a little too well worn for me uh, to sell, I think. Ooh, yay. Okay, finally, finally a brand that I'm good with. It's uh, J. Jill. This is a size small. It is just a black shirt. Yeah, there's nothing special about this one. It is J. Jill though, so I may be able to get like a 15 or 20 for this. Nope. I'm just kidding because it does have a hole in it. Ah, man, come on, Goodwill. So that is a waste of an item. And it was a good item, like a not a good item, but like a decent item that could have been sold. That one's going in a like rag pile. I will I will be making rags for myself to do some deep cleaning later on. All right, another brand that people normally think is good is Michael Michael Kors. This doesn't sell for me that great. Again, being extra small, I might just put this in a box with the other extra small stuff. And um, yeah, just sell that as a lot. That, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Okay, so a uh, side note that this box is not only women's stuff, it is also men's stuff. So we have some board shorts or some swim trunks, whatever you want to call them. They have a fun little, I don't, is that, oh, I thought it was a graphic. Um, I don't know what that says, <laughs> but I will try to figure it out and see if I can't find any comps. It is a size 32. Oh, okay. Maui and Sons. I'm pretty sure that's what that said. So a pretty cool pair of shorts would be great for anybody going on vacation. So these will probably go up for sale and I have no idea what I'll price them at. Maybe another 15 to $19, but that's okay. Now the last thing in the box is a very decent item. I'm not gonna say it's great. Um, this is a Nautica item. It is brand new with tags. The retail price was $39.50 and it's a scarf and it's patriotic. I know a lot of people who love the patriotic stuff. <laughs> so as long as you put the right keywords in your listing, like patriotic or Independence Day, 4th of July um, flag, I think it might sell for Christmas, just being that it's brand new with tags. So I'm pretty excited for this one. I might price this around 20, 25, and that should pay for my entire box. Okay, so that was a total of 11 items. Uh, I was supposed to get 10, um, so technically I did get 10 because one was one is basically trash. And personally, from my opinion, this is a decent box. I have gotten way better boxes. I have gotten way worse boxes. So this is kind of falling in between. Nothing really stood out to me as amazing. One of my boxes, I did end up donating everything because it was just... It wasn't brands that I would sell or brands that I'm excited about. Okay, again, please, please go check out my friend Alicia's channel. She will have a video similar to this. And side note, she actually ordered her box one week after mine. And I think during certain weeks, they have like way better boxes. So maybe this was her week and she will get an amazing box. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.